Well, there are scientific tools that help us predict the weather, but if we listen, Mother Nature might give us some clues too. It is our favorite time of year. Time for the annual Wooly Worm forecast. And Judy Fraser is here, ready to um, kind of break down what kind of season we are in store for. But before we, we get to all of that, um, how have you been? I've been okay. I've, this is my favorite time of year, fall. And of course, obviously one of my favorite fall events is the Wooly Worm forecast. And it, I'm delighted, I guess, that uh, we continue to do this tradition, I guess. Uh, and people are delighted. I, it's amazing to me uh, the response I get from people, whether it's posts or pictures or just seeing me in the store. I mean, you know, yesterday there were five people that said, Judy, I saw a woolly worm and I thought of you. Oh, what a funny thing to be associated with. But <laughs> that's awesome. It's but proving it's it works and you know, people look forward the, the, to it. There's so much angst in the world, I think, that it's, it's fun to look forward to something that's lighthearted. And, and just fun, and I'm so glad to share that, so. Well, yeah, okay, so just moments ago, we were talking about squirrels being busy. That's oh, yes. one way that Mother Nature kind of starts to give us some clues about the upcoming winter season. Let's talk about some of those other folklore um, traditions besides the woolly worm, which we're gonna get to. Right. So squirrels being one, the busier the, the right. worse they, the weather. If they start hoarding their acorns or whatever they're going to put in flower pots or uh, dig in your mulch or w whatever, uh, that's a pretty good indication that uh, we're gonna have a, a rather uh, challenging winter, shall we say? Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, but there's so many, you know, there's so many traditions. I think this all started way back when, old as the, the hills in the Blue Ridge Mountains, when the Native Americans uh, tried to teach the colonists or the early settlers how to predict the winter weather. Uh, we didn't have the technical wizardry we have today, so they had to rely on Mother Nature. They had to rely on the behavior of animals, insects, birds. And so this has kind of uh, been passed through the ages, and they've lasted that long, so I figure, hey, there's got to be a kernel of truth to this. Well, yeah, yeah, a little you something know. to it. And at what point did you start kind of turning that direction and wanting to learn more about woolly worms? Well, you know what you know what I am? I've added a new name to, or a new uh, title to my name, and it's a promatologist. That's somebody who studies proverbs, uh, old age customs, and so forth. And one of them, of course, is the, is the woolly worm. And I I've been- no idea. Yeah, I didn't either. I, I didn't either, so I found out that, that out this year. So it's promatology. Um, that is the science that it's called, and um, I've been doing it for, oh gosh, 40 years. Wow. wow. Studying, the, studying the coat of the woolly worm. So. That is so cool. Promatologist. Yes. I know. Promatologist. How fancy. Almost as hard to say as meteorologist. <laughs> and try spelling it. That's even harder. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. If we could pull that graphic back up, talking about some of the different, you know, things that we look for, whether it be the squirrels, the persimmon seeds, are those seeds from this year? Yes, they are. And are those spoons or knives? What are those? Um, I'm, oh, those are uh, those are spoons. Which means shovels, right? Yeah, yes. The, uh, oh, persimmon gosh. seeds, if it's a shovel or a spoon, it represents a shovel, which obviously means snow. If it's a fork, it's mild. And if it's a knife, it's cold, icy, biting winds. Mm. Um, and this year, we had uh, quite a few persimmon seed reports and pictures, and they were all spoons. What are we talking about with the leaf falls there? The leaf, uh, if the leaves fall before the first frost, that means we'll, we'll probably have a harsh winter. But up until today, with the strong winds, yeah. I've had no, none of the leaves fall off our trees as of yet. And the colors really haven't changed, which surprised me. But the peak is around the 19th of October, so we still have a few days to go. But, mm. um, so well, I'm glad those seeds aren't knives, but yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I could probably prefer the um, forks, though, yes. <laughs> for the spoons. Yes. And I've seen, in all the years I've been looking at these, I've seen all three. I've seen knives, wow. I've seen spoons, and I've seen forks. So um, it's just another added way of, of forecasting the upcoming winter. So I sent you, I know, a picture of a woolly worm, like at the V, like felt like beginning of summer almost. Like I was already starting to see woolly In worms. In August. Yeah. So is that the typical time we start seeing them? Yes. I felt like it was early. Well, if you saw them in July, that's a good indication that uh, they're, they're going to be busy looking for a hidey hole early for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> but usually we see them from August 
uh, through October. Um, now the, they've already found their their little hidey hole, so to speak. Um, but they but they can start in in August, and I think we did have reports already in August. And so. you've brought a cute little friend along oh, yes. with you. <laughs> this is my my little woolly worm that I got at the Camargo Woolly Worm Festival many years ago. A little worse for the wear. He's a lot of lost a couple of its feet. Oh, <laughs> look at yeah, him. This driving. little guy has three sets of, of legs and he has 13 segments. And that's a lot for a little little fuzzy worm. And he's uh, people call him woolly bears or woolly worms. And it's not a bear or is it a worm. <laughs> it's a caterpillar. <laughs> I kind of like the name woolly bear. That's kind of cute. Yeah, they call that in the northeast. They, in the south, they call them woolly bears. But we, we call them woolly worms. But uh, you can see some of his spikes. <laughs> okay, well, coming up, we're going to break down the actual fragments of the woolly worm right. because yeah. each one means something else. Its yes, colors it mean something else. We've got lots of viewer pictures to review and then maybe kind of start making our own predictions ourselves. Yes. But Judy's <laughs> official woolly worm forecast is coming. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. We're so excited you're here. Yes.